brought to you in part by The Right Realtors. Real relationships, real results. The right choice. CHBC News. Your health. Well, parents try to feed their families healthy meals, but are they providing all the nutrients the kids need? That question has led to a growth in nutritional supplements available for young children. They're supposed to make up for any shortcomings in diet, but are they really necessary? Beatrice Politi has more. Do you want some more, you want some more cracker? At 14 months, Aiden is getting pickier about food. I'm concerned about iron. Um, and also I want to make sure he's getting his good oils in. So aside from his regular diet, Aiden gets a multivitamin and cod liver oil. But there are those who say even the best laid out plans may not be enough. I think the majority of children need a nutritional top up or a complement and, and here is why, because they just cannot be consistent. Pediatrician Dr. Peter Neiman says the product Enfagrow, with vitamins and minerals taken once a day, can give parents peace of mind, especially if their toddler is a picky eater. Dr. Neiman is also on the advisory board of Mead Johnson, the company that makes the product. If there was something wrong with the product, or I, I, I wouldn't feel it's ethical to, to talk about it. It can be difficult for parents to know if their toddlers are getting all the nutrients they need. Canada's Food Guide doesn't have recommendations for kids under two. Instead, on Health Canada's website, you can find nutrition guidelines for infants, which say in the second year of life, small, frequent, energy-dense feedings from a variety of foods from the different food groups are necessary. We get questions all the time, what is the right portion size? This dietitian says most healthy toddlers don't need top-ups or supplements and warns that they may encourage bad eating habits. That supplement might be displacing other nutrients that they would have eaten if they hadn't drank a cup of a supplement. The second ingredient is sugar. Aiden's mother says she'd rather take her chances with Aiden's current diet. I feel a lot of it is actually fear-mongering. You're having these products that um, are being marketed as a must-have or your kid will be deficient in some way, which I don't believe is the case at all. In the event of a fire at your house, is your family ready? Would everyone get out alive? Well, one family volunteered to be part of a surprise drill. And as reporter Shirley Engel found out, even working smoke alarms offer no guarantees. 